For thousands of years, our elders have told us many stories of how our country came to be. We have been told in the beginning there was just flat red ground. We were told this was the beginning of our dream time. Many things happened in our dream time. We have been told that by army had entered the land of the moon and the sun. We have been told that by army on walkabout took a giant step from Kobar to Gundabuka, a sacred place of the Nyimba people. And then he stepped over to Bairo, where he left the mark of his footprint on a stone, and then he came here to Brewarana. He stopped at the water hole known as the Garangra, and he was mighty hungry. He looked around and behind a rock wall, he saw a large black fish swimming in a pool of water. He raised his spear and struck the fish. But he was only wounded, that black fish. He took off, crashing through the rock wall down there, and the water came gushing out after him. That fish, he burrowed deep into the hard ground to get away from Biami. But Biami, he would have none of that. He dug after that black fish, cutting into the hard ground, making large holes in the earth. And as he chased the wounded fish, the rushing waters filled in the holes. Biami chased that black fish for a long, long time. See those bends? Well, that black fish, he made those bends as he tried to escape. And do you know what happened to that black fish? Well, he got away. But that doesn't matter, because my army and that black fish created our mighty river, which runs as far as the eye can see. And so, for a while, life for our people was good. Then the big dry set in. The sun was scorching our earth, and our waters were shrinking. Our people faced a famine. If there is no water, there is no food, no animal life. Our people could die. My army found out, and he returned to Brewarana with his two sons. My army and his sons were so strong, and they scattered large stones and dug up boulders, setting them out into the pattern of a great fishnet. These fishnets became our nunu. but still no water. And that evening, the people gathered on the riverbank and held a big crobbery for Biami and his son. Biami took a coolerman and showed the old men how to call the rain. For hours, the ground rumbled under the old men's stamping feet, kicking up the dust which rose high. Exhausted, the old men fell to the ground, and while they slept, the dust clouds drifted higher and higher swirling around Balu, the moon, who filled those dust clouds with rain, and then drop, drop, drop. The rain, it poured down for days. The people watched as the water rushed into the Durangra, over the rock wall, and covered by army stone fish traps, the Nunu. And when the rain stopped and the flood fell, the hippie, the fishermen, saw the fins and mouths of thousands of fish in the water. They were so happy and they rushed into the river and drove them into the Nunu. Our people were hungry and them hippies, they killed many fish with their sticks and their spears. As the fishermen, the hippies caught the fish they heard one of the fish grunt, like a wounded animal, and they saw that this fish was Biami's black fish. And the black brim still grunts today when you catch them. Once again, Brewarana had plenty of water. This is the story 
of how the Nunu by army stone fish traps came to be Warrener. This is our Dreamtime story about this special place where we sit here today. And now this is your Dreamtime story to pass on to your children and your children's children.